Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a CSV file in Python Django. So we will see this concept with the help of an example. So let's see an example. Firstly, I open my command prompt where I have installed the Django and I activate my environment. So after activating the environment, firstly we have to export the library with the name Django import export library. So basically this library handles the data importing and exporting as its name indicated. Uh, this library support a number of uh, formats such as Excel, CSV, JSON uh, and many others. And additionally it has a Django admin integration that is uh, quite user friendly. So uh, let's first learn to install it. So you for installing it you have to write pip install django hyphen import hyphen export so i will show you by maximize it so here you can see that i write up my command and hit enter button so it start up the installation process of the Django import export library. So let's wait till it install. So here you can see that it start the process of installing. It's download some of the requirement and now it's installing all the dependency. So just wait till it install. So here you can see that I have successfully install it now it's time to create a project in a django in which we create a csv file so let's first create a django project so i have already created let's i will open it and then i will explain you step by step so here i open up my project here I create my project in a Django with the name praising CSV project and I use the command Django hyphen admin start project and then I mention the name of my project and inside my project I create an app in a Django with the name my app and uh, I created this with the help of a command python manage.py start app and after that I mention up my name. So as you know that after creating the app, we have to install it. So I click on my project directory and inside it I have a settings.py file. I open this file and uh, here when I scroll down, here you can see that we have a list with the name installed app. So here firstly you have to add the library that you have installed import underscore export and then you have to install your app that is a uh, my app so if you have not installed your uh, imported like import export library you will get an error and not able to create the csv file in Django. and addition to this here i have one optional configuration that you use to set if you want in the settings.py file that is import underscore export underscore use underscore transaction and uh, I set its value to true basically it decides the library will employ the data based transaction during the data import or not and by default its value is false so to be in a safe side we set it to true first so then let's proceed now we have to go to the urls.py file that is located in a project directory as we have to mention of the path of the app that we have constructed in the django project and in my case it is my app.urls so here i include its path so now after that we have to create a model so you have to open up your app directory here I open my my app directory and here we have a models.py file and here you have to create a model. So here I create a models.py file with the name song rank and it has following field in it. So the first one is a rank field and it is a 
integer field which is used to store the rank of the song the next i created a song field it is a character field and it stores the name of the so song that most streamed on a spotify and uh, there is a 200 character limit i have set for this by using the max underscore length attribute the next one is a streams and this is also a character field it stores the streams of a song counted by the spotify the next one is artist it is also a character field and it stores the name of the artist of the song and i specify max length to a 500 and last one is the release date uh, and i use the date field type for it and it stores the release date of a song on a spotify and additionally i set its uh, null value to true if uh, some of the date is not mentioned it take it as a true then you have to create it on a admin panel also this model that's why i move to my admins.py file to view this model and here i have created up uh, the model for an admin site by using a decorator here i create a decorator for registering my model and the list field name are defined in a tuple you can see that in a necessary sequence using the list underscore display attribute so here i this one is my decorator and uh, i get off the song ranks from the model and here i have created a class with the name song rank admin and this list display take up the tuple and show in in the admin side rank song stream and artist after that we have to create one resources.py file by default it is not created you have to create it in your app with the name resources.py uh, so to work with the django import export library we always need resource to import and export the files from the front end and this source class is the definition that is quite uh, similar to how django handles model forms and admin class okay so like uh, we specify the model forms or uh, admin class in django similarly like this we have specified this so here i firstly import the resources from the import underscore export library and uh, then a song grant from the model then i create a resource class named as a song rank resource and i pass a model name to the meta class of the song rank class to configure it and i set the model class as a song rank so after that we have to specify the templates to get the front end so here i create up a one folder with the name templates and in between i have created up a file with the name home.html okay but uh, before going to create this home.html file we have to set up some settings in our project directory settings.py file to set up the path of this template so here i open my settings.py file and i update my dirs to update the template folder path so here in the templates list we have a dirs variable and here i set its value to templates now i create my home.html file i will explain you basically here i am using the h3 tag that is used for the heading of for the form inside a body tag so this h3 tag align it to the center and h3 tag printer please upload a csv file after that for posting the forms uh, once it's submitted i use this form tag with the method post okay and then here i have pass an attribute to it that is in enc type okay encrypted type and i set it to multi part slash form hyphen data in the form tag if you have not specified this it will give you error while you upload the file so this attribute is very much necessary in the form tag then i use the csrf underscore token within the form element 
to shield the firm from the cyber attacks and unable to transmit the data securely and after that i have create a file input option uh, to choose the file and uh, then i create a submit button to upload the file data to an admin side so by using this input tab and i set its uh, type to a file it take up the file and by setting up the button type to a submit it submit the file and last uh, to print an error or success message i use the the message tag so here i use the if statement and uh, for uh, statement for printing up of the message and here i use the message tag for printing up the messages so now it's time to define the main logic as we have constructed our front end also so we define now our main logic so i open my app folder again and here i move to my views.py file so here i have uh, write up my code so now i will explain you this code so firstly i import the necessary modules and the classes from the django and as well as some external library that is a tablib okay for working with the tabular data in various formats so then i create a upload function uh, which is defined as a view in django and inside it i use the a statement that checks uh, the incoming request is post request or not basically this view function always uh, expects a http post request so for this reason we are checking that whether the request is post or not then we create a instance of a song rank resource class which seems to be related to a django resource for managing up the data and then i initialize an empty data set using a data set function and set it to data set variable basically uh, it set up with the help of a tablib library then after that i retrieve to upload the csv file from the post request so here i write up the new underscore song as a variable and set it to the request dot files and my file then we move to the if statement that check if the uploaded file has a csv extension if not it display a message and redirect you back to the home page okay and if the uploaded file is a csv it displays a success message which is shown in the else part if it is a not csv it render back to the home.html file and print up the error message please upload the csv file only okay and by checking it i use the ends with function okay and here i use the not one if not if not means it's check it is not a csv file okay and else part if it is a csv one it print a success message then to read the content of the uploaded csv file and to decode it i use the utf-8 as a decoder and then i create a io dot string object to work with the csv data inside it and it skips up the first row of a csv file by assuming that it is a header row so for skipping that here i use the next and inside it i have passed the io underscore string and then i iterate through the csv data praising each row and updating or creating a song rank object in the database on the columns in the csv file so after rendering it i finally render to the home.html template so this is the main logic behind the uploading of a csv file that contain the song rank data and uh, rephrasing it to the django so after defining up the main logic in order to call this view we must map it with the url so here i create a file with the name urls.py in my app folder or you can say in your app directory 
which gives you the path of the view so here i create a path for the view views dot upload is the name of my function that i have created in a views dot py file and now it's time to execute our model first as we are praise it so i move to my command prompt and here i write up the command the first one is python manage dot py make migrations and hit enter basically it to a migrate this migrate file includes the code for the model tabular schema so it sh uh, it shows that no change detected after that to build up a tables per migration schema i execute the command python manage dot py migrate so it shows that all migration are applied and then you have to launch the development server and for this we have to write the command python manage dot py run server and hit enter so let's open it in your browser so this is the front end that you get so click on this choose file to choose a file first so i am going to show you example for the song rank file so here i click and here i choose up my file and you can see that it shows up my file name after that you have to click on the upload file button it uploads the file and it shows you that it successfully uploaded now open the admin part to view that so here i open the admin one so here i open up my admin part so open for opening the admin admin part you need the super user if you don't have you can create it by using the command python manage.py create super user and here you can see that under the my app section here i have a model with the name song ranks so click on it and here you can see that it successfully frees the csv file to it it shows the rank then it shows the song then it shows the streams and then it shows the artist name so with this we have successfully learned how we praise the csv file in django so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and if you need the code of this django project you will get the link of the article in the description and at the end of the article you will get the code